Hey, what's up, everyone? So today I'm going to make another prototype using Prototype, and we're gonna make this cool calendar swiping interaction. So let's get into it. So I have three MP4 video that represent each weather state. So this is sunny, and this is rainy, and this is thunderstorm. So here we are in Prototype. So I'm dragging the first video into scene one. Make sure to turn on the play automatically. Next, uh, let's create a container and rename it to page one, and then drag the video into the container. And then create a scroll container, and let's name it scroll page. And then drag the page one container into the scroll page container. Now we have something like this. Make sure to resize both container to match the divide resolution. All right, let's select the scroll page container and go to the parameter, and let's switch it to paging. And make sure the page by properties is container. Now let's have a quick review. So as you can see here, we can swipe it, but there's nothing on the other side. So let's create two more pages. So I'm duplicating the whole page container. So I'm dragging this second page right next to the first one to the right. And then replace this video with the second video, which is the raining state. So let's have a quick review. Um, so it's working fine. So let's apply the same process to the third page. So I'm moving this third page to the right side of the second page. And here we have something like this. Alright, cool. So now let's fill up the page with the rest of the UI. And make sure that the one that doesn't scroll stay out of the scroll page container like this. And I'm gonna drag this uh, temperature number inside page one, and the same for other pages. Oh, I forgot to tell you that you can turn this off so you can see all of these pages uh, visible. So it's gonna be easier to um, work with all these elements. All right, so now we have something like this. So we're almost there. So now the last thing that we need to do is to animate the uh, active state of the tab bar below. So this is also the one of the tricky part of this uh, tutorial. So let's create a rectangle and then rename it to active and resize it to match the UI. Okay, so now let's select the scroll page container and then add a trigger called detect. And from the parameters, let's change this to scroll instead of X. And then add a condition. And also change this to scroll. And add the value here is 0. Now let's select the active rectangle. Now we're going to give it an action. So let's go with move. And from here, you can determine the position that this rectangle is going to stay. So I'm setting 20 as the initial uh, position of the rectangle. And it's just go with linear animation. We don't need all of these easing here. So next step, let's duplicate all of these and then change the condition value to 720. Uh, so this is the position of the second page. And then let's change the move action to 135. And then apply the same process for the third page. So let's go with 1440. And then it's gonna move to 258. Alright, so let's have a look. So as you can see as a swipe, the active state also moving. So it's not really the best animation here, but um, I think for a prototype it's uh, working okay. There you go folks, I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.